Hey YouTube, welcome back to a brand new Animal Crossing New Horizons video. Today we're taking a look at all the critters you need to catch before the end of December in New Horizons. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. So we are almost nine months into the release of New Horizons as we approach the end of December and the end of the year. Of course, with yet another month coming to a close, we are about to see the final shift for the year in the critters we can encounter, and it may even be our last chance to catch certain creatures for a while. Now this is the same for every region across both hemispheres and going over all the critters leaving the island last time seemed to really help a lot of you out so naturally we're back again to run down all of the bugs, the fish, the deep sea creatures you need to keep your eyes open for over the next couple of weeks before the new year when they all disappear. Now for the first time in a long while it's the southern hemisphere that has their work cut out for them as players in that region have a total of 13 critters leaving whereas here in the northern hemisphere we only have four to find before they're gone. But this makes total sense when you think about it given the southern hemisphere is currently in summer and here we're in winter so naturally there's less creatures around to leave. Anyway, starting with the fish that are leaving at the end of the month in the northern hemisphere, only one fish is leaving, which is the pike. The pike is of course a rare river fish, but can be spotted easily as it has an extra large shadow. Unfortunately, this fish won't be returning until September next year, so if you haven't caught one yet and you're looking to complete your Critopedia app, keep a close lookout as they can be spotted all day. Now that just leaves the bugs and sea creatures, but first players in the southern hemisphere also have a couple of fish leaving. The fish leaving at the end of December in the southern hemisphere include the cherry salmon and the char. Both of these fish are pretty rare fish and are only found in rivers along cliff tops, which is why they're hard to find. Both the cherry salmon and the char are around in the evening and throughout the night from 4pm through to 9am, which makes it easier if you're looking for both. You don't have too long to wait if you miss them though, as they both return in March. If you are struggling to find these, just craft a waterfall with a river or pond at the top and that should be enough to make them spawn. Back to the Northern Hemisphere now, you'll be pleased to know that there are no bugs leaving this time around, which is always good news. This is no doubt because any bugs that would likely leave would have left at the start of winter a couple of weeks ago. This of course means that the final critters for the Northern Hemisphere to find are deep sea creatures, but first there are a total of 8 bugs leaving in December in the Southern Hemisphere. These include the common butterfly, the yellow butterfly, the peacock butterfly, the firefly, the ladybug, the violin beetle, the pill bug, and finally the centipede. The first four are of course flying insects and can be found flying randomly around the island with the exception of the peacock butterfly that tends to spawn near hybrid flowers and the firefly that spawns near water. The butterflies can all be found during the day from 4am through to 7pm so are pretty easy to encounter but the ladybug spawns for a short time between 8am and 5pm. The firefly on the other hand only comes out at night and can be found from 7pm through to 4am. Now the final bugs here are encounters slightly different than the traditional creatures as the violin beetle only spawns on tree stumps although it is fairly common and the pill bug and centipede spawn from rocks when hit with a shovel but are pretty easy to find. However the centipede only spawns for a few hours in the evening from 4pm to 11pm. Now most of these bugs will return to the New Horizons Island from March next year but some of them won't be seen again until September and December next year so it might be a while before you get a chance to catch them again. Anyway that's all the bugs leaving in the southern hemisphere which just leaves the deep sea creatures in both hemispheres leaving before the end of the year. Now deep sea creatures are almost certainly the hardest to track down because they're really difficult to determine which ones they might be before encountering them and they spawn less than others. Luckily there's only three in each hemisphere to find. Starting with the deep sea creatures in the northern hemisphere leaving in December, we have the mussel, the turban shell and the spiny lobster, which all return during different seasons next year. All of these creatures are common and can be encountered all day, with the exception of the spiny lobster, which spawns during the night between 9pm and 4am. This creature also moves pretty fast, which makes it a bit more of a challenge. With that said, they are all pretty easy to find. And finally, the deep sea creatures leaving the southern hemisphere include the chambered nautilus, the firefly squid and the lobster. Again, they're all leaving for several months but are easy to encounter with the lobster being the most difficult to track down given its speed. The chambered nautilus and the firefly squid spawn during the night between 4pm and 9am and 9pm and 4am respectively but the lobster can be encountered all day. 
And there we have it. That's a total of 14 critters leaving the Northern Hemisphere and 13 leaving the Southern Hemisphere. Of course, don't worry too much if you miss out on any of these critters as they do return eventually. And if you really need to find one, you can always visit a friend's island or someone else's in the opposite hemisphere. However, if you can, it's worth donating one of each of these creatures to Blathers at the museum so you can work towards unlocking your recipes for the golden tools. But what do you think about all these critters? Are you up to date with your Critopedia? And do you have the golden tools already? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Anyway, for now, that pretty much wraps up this video. If you're an Animal Crossing fan, don't forget to subscribe as I'm hoping to continue to upload a bunch of new content in the coming weeks. Until then, I'd like to give a special thank you to this channel's Patreon supporters, as well as this channel's members. You guys absolutely rock and truly help me upload as regularly as I do. I couldn't do it without you. Don't forget to head over to our Discord server too. And of course, if you may it to the end of the video please comment critters just to let me know you did that would be super awesome and please be sure to include whether or not you even use the golden tools i'd love to know anyway i hope you enjoyed this video and found it entertaining please be sure to leave a like if you did thanks for watching i hope you have an amazing day stay safe and i'll see you in my next video peace